Hey, what's up, guys? It's John from Magic Tech Review. So, if you ever have a bring your own device phone um, and bring it to Cricut Wireless, or maybe your APN uh, gets erased, so I'm going to teach you how to uh, input those settings coming up. guys what's up so basically this is gonna be a little tutorial on how to set your APN settings so in case you get um, a bring your own device or let's say you're on Cricut wireless or any carrier for that matter um, basically all you have to do is go into the settings so you can go either through regular settings through the apps or you can also go on through settings like this the faster way and this is like if you bring um, like if you bring a Verizon unlocked phone to Cricut Wireless, or maybe you have Cricut Wireless and you want to use another phone. Uh, all you have to do is pop in the SIM card. But once you pop in your SIM card, uh, your phone becomes t talk and text only until you actually fix these settings in your phone. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. All right. So basically, on any Android device, it's going to be mobile networks. It might be called something a little different, but usually it's going to be under mobile networks. All right. So we have. APN or access point names so here we go and then you would just go here and uh, you should see maybe if you have a Verizon unlock phone you'll see a Verizon thing here um, base, so basically all you have to do is input these settings right here that I'm about to show you um, but to add you would just hit the plus sign and then you would actually add the setting so but we're not going to do that right now so we're going to discard that and you see how my uh, internet just went in and out like that so that's what that is so you go to internet I mean so these are the settings that you would have to actually input on your phone in order to get internet so it's gonna be name internet APN and then you would write NDO so see here you just go like that then you would type it in APN and then you would put NDO and then proxy you leave alone, port you leave alone, username you leave alone, password leave alone, server leave alone, and then the next step is this MMSC. So then it would be exactly what I have in here now. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash MMSC AI dot AIO wireless dot net. And then for you would put in the MMS proxy, which is proxy.aiowireless.net. Then you put your MMS port, and then you make sure that these numbers are correct: the 80, the MCC 310, MNC 150. And then another part that a lot of people forget is the APN type. So you're going to put in default, comma MMS, comma supple comma high pry comma and then photo and then that's it after you have all that done you just hit save and that's about it and then your phone should be working you just restart it and then you should see your uh, internet pop up so then you could do uh, you know just browse the internet test it out real quick and you should be good to go so yeah guys that pretty much wraps up my little tutorial here I know it's not the you know, uh, biggest video in the world, but I feel like there's a lot of people that they have Cricut Wireless and sometimes their phone might break or something like that and they need something to get them by and they need, you know, they want to use an uh, unlocked phone or something like that. So that's where that APN thing would come in. Uh, you, overseas, you have to do it for every carrier, but, you know, over here, we're a little bit uh, spoiled in that matter. All right, guys, this is John from Magic Tech Review. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.